Today is the third lesson of Master Gordon Ying's original Guan Ping Tai Chi form. And uh, before we uh, get to the lesson, we'll do a quick review of the four moves that we've already learned. I'll just uh, do a quick demonstration. So the opening move will be strike palm to ask Buddha. Then grasp bird's tail. Step up transitional pose. Single whip. And then stork cools wings. So this is where the lesson will begin. Uh, the next moves will be from Stork Cool's Wings, Brush Knee Twist Step, and Parry and Punch at the end of uh, Brush Knee Twist Step. And um, I'm going to refer you to the video that I did on um, Brush Knee Twist Step so that you can learn more about it. But again, since I'm doing these presentations for both beginners and advanced students, uh, the um, main emphasis will be for beginner students and how to learn the basic movements in brush knee twist step. So we'll start uh, with the first uh, movement from Stoke Cool's Wings. And again, as uh, I showed in the last video, the postures from Master Guo Ying Ying's uh, booklet of showing the postures. And one thing to remember is the postures are uh, kind of like the end points of where the movements are. They don't show the transition or anything like that. And also um, some of the photographs, a couple of the photographs only show like, uh, for example, in brush knee twist step, you see it looks like he's on this side, whereas brush knee twist step as it was taught is on the opposite side. And Partly the reason for that is uh, probably a photographer didn't know what moment that uh, he needed to take the photograph and maybe there was no photographs of uh, people in the opposite side pushing each with step and so therefore they had that in the book. So sometimes that creates confusion for people that didn't study the original form of Sifu and they look at the photograph in the book and it looks like uh, you should be doing brush knee twist step on this side, whereas it is, uh, as I showed in the application, brush knee twist step is the loo, and you're on the opposite side for right hand to right hand single pushing. So that's some of the considerations when looking at the um, photographs as compared to what I'm actually teaching in this lesson. So we'll start from uh, Stork Cool's wings. So stroke cool's wings begin from this position. And again, I'm going to remind you that uh, I'm teaching it for, break it down for the very beginner level. And so um, in many of the moves, I'll be stopping in between where you normally would take a full uh, transitional step. So that's how we're going to do it, broken down. So the first movement will be um, also, if you practice the three preliminary exercises, then this will be easy for you. But if you didn't do those three preliminary exercises, then you have to learn it as we're learning in this lesson. So in the first movement from this position here, this left foot comes in through the center and then touches the toe in the back. Remember I said, pretend that there's a cliff. So that your weight doesn't just step back onto the foot, but your weight stays centered as you touch the toe and the hands go out to the right here. So that's the first movement. From stroke cool wings coming through the center out to shoulder width, touch the toe. At the same time, hands go to shoulder level, palms facing out. Right elbow 
relax them down like chicken wings here. Watch my movement back, forward and back. There's no change. It goes from here. So you can do it this first. You can come in, touch back, and then the hands come up. Learn. Or once you get that down, just go into here. But the important thing is at this point, you haven't transferred your weight forward or back. So one more time. Hands go to the right, palms facing out, right elbows relaxed and down. From here, you're going to sink down into even weighted stance. And this is the important part. This is the part of brush me twist step being in this position here. This is like receiving, new, pulling. Okay, I'll do it facing forward. From stork cools wings. Again, what I'll do is I'll here I'm gonna step up a little bit closer. From here, come in through the center, touch the toe, then the hands go out to the side, palm facing out, elbow relax and down. You do that a bunch of times so you can get a feeling. Again in the beginning, it's okay to step. Touch the toe, step back, then block the even weight as the hands finish their position. Okay, from here, come in through the center, step out, touch the toe, and then hands come up as you walk into position. If you're just beginning, I advise you to do it broken down like this so that you get the sequence. Correct. If you start going uh, too much flow all at once, so you're going to miss the actual sequence of how this happens. Coming through the center with the toe, touch, then hands come up as you rock to even. Again, coming through the center, touch with the toe, rock to even, and the hands finish into their position. I do it from this side too. From here, coming through the center, touch with the toe, rock the center. So again, uh, as we do it broken down, I'm gonna really emphasize the actual uh, weight balance as you do this. Coming through the center, touch the toe, rock. From here, you're gonna like shift your weight back like this. Again, this is part of the receiving, the new pulling. From here, come back to the center, touch the toe. For now, in a normal uh, advance, you would not you would be stepping through, but just so they can get the transition. The hands come back to neutral. Okay, I like to change to this position here, but it's okay to change to here too. I like this position because it allows me to change to uh, other positions if I need to. But from here, just a neutral position with the hand. Again, so on this side, you're going to do exactly the same thing on the left side as you come back and touch the toe, coming through the center to shoulder width, touch the toe, and then walk back to even. Okay. So let's take that from the beginning again. From stroke cools wings, you're going to come in through the center, touch the toe, and then transition to the right position. From here, walk back. So now your weight is on the left, so that you free the weight off your right foot. And again, in the beginning, just come back and touch the toe so that you could be in a balanced position. Hands come through the center, and then repeat on the left side. Step back, touch the toe, and rock. Okay, from the front, 
from Stork Who's Wings here. You're going to come through the center, touch the left toe, shoulder width, and rock to the right side, palms facing out, elbow relaxed and down. From here, shift your weight back so that the weight is on the left so that you can free your, your right foot. Coming through the center, at the same time, hands come to neutral position, and then step out with the right foot to the back, shoulder width, and rock to even. Okay, so let's do uh, all at once. From here, left step back, right goes out to even. Shift back, center, touch the toe, even. That's the right to left. Then from there on, you're just going to re repeat. From here, shift your weight back, hands come to neutral, step out, shoulder width, and then you're back to the right side. If you did that uh, preliminary walking backwards exercise, then now you're just adding in the hands. So to practice also, the hands, just right side, center, left side. Remember just to relax that elbow. Center, right. Center, right. And you're not going to just uh, say, uh, straightforward, you're going to turn with the body as much as you can comfortably when you're in this position here. Okay, so uh, just to practice the arm transfer, you can get, uh, have a kind of a neutral stance. Right side, shift, left side, shift, right side. So you notice that the hands or on a straight line going forward, not like this, but in line. And again, if you had a staff, like I show you, similarity to the staff, this uh, line comes through here, and you're grabbing the wrist and the hand is on the elbow. So again, for the preliminary exercise, right side, shift, left. Right, and so now you just have to put that in with the footwork. <clears throat> We're going back one more time from short cool's wings. Come back through the center, right side, neutral, even balance. Shift back, coming through the center, touch, shift back. Shift back, neutral, touch, even balance. Shift back, neutral, touch, even balance. That's how it should uh, go. You know, as you get more advanced, then what you're going to do is you're going to combine the movements a little bit. And what you're going to do is from here, as you come in through the center, like this footwork here, then you're going to go same time that you come. But the important thing is at this point, you end up even balanced. Then you can go forward and back and receive. This is the critical part. Don't be in the back weighted position because if you, in this receiving position, if you're too far back, all you have to do is push you and you don't have anywhere to recuperate and uh, receive. So you need to be in this balanced position so that you can change and shift. Okay. So from here, so from here, this foot is going to go straight to the back as you come neutral and into the left side. Shift back. The shift back is important because you want to free the balance of your leg, the weight, so that you can move the foot freely. So shift back. From center and then right side. Shift back, come to center, left side. So looking at uh, 
when you do the transition all at once, it looks like this. So that's a brush knee twist step. So this is one of those repeat uh, moves where you can vary the amount that you do. Um, there's no set amount that you do, and according to the space you could do is you could do um, you know a varied amount. In the movement, you're going to start from the right side. And then you shift to the left side, and you always will end up on the left side. And this is the end. So it's going to be even number that you can perform. So it'll be like two, four, six, depending on the space that you want to cover. So ending on the left will put you in the proper position for the next move. We're going to learn uh, uh, parry and punch with it comes at the end of brush knee to step. So we're going to end in the left position here. Here. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to rock back here. At the same time you rock back, the fist comes back and the left hand goes out. The fist will be kind of like bottom of your rib area. Yeah. So the left side you're in a neutral position and as you rock back toe comes up at the same time left goes forward and the right comes back in a fist position. Left side rock back and fist comes back left goes out. Left neutral, and then shift back, toe comes up, this comes back. In the beginning, okay, I'll do it facing this way. So you're going to end up on this side on brush knee to a step. So it looks look like this right side, shift back, change to hand, foot, left side, here. So from here, the feet are about shoulder width. As you rock back, hand goes forward. Okay. Um, this will be the uh, beginner basic way to do it. Come back. From here, we're going to parry. Parry means deflect. So somebody's punching, elbow comes forward, arm comes forward. You're kind of pushing off on this side here. So parry. And then sit down on a horse and punch. As you sit down on the horse, right foot goes out 90 degrees, left foot is straight forward. So here the feet are both pointing straight forward. As you shift back and change the hands, the foot has not changed. But as you sit down on a horse and then the hand comes Reflecting, carry, and punch. Okay, again, broken up. It's like left side, rock back, change the hands. You can do that at the same time, or you can rock back first and change the hands so that you can just remember the sequence. But as you get more advanced, it's going to be at the same time. So rock back, change the hands, sit down on a horse carry, and punch. Okay. Left side. Buck back. Change the hands. Sit down on a horse. Carry, and punch. Again, this uh, beginner method is just to help you remember the sequence. So that uh, if you remember the sequence in the order, then as you get more into uh, a flow rounded um, style, you'll have the order in the right uh, um, uh, sequence. So that's why I'm breaking it down like this. In a more advanced 
um, rendition, it's going to look more like that. But everything is in the same sequence where you change the hand, sit down, and punch. Although uh, you're not doing it so robotic and broken up, you're able to change the sequence or the uh, flow, but everything is actually in the same sequence, and that's the important thing in uh, gaining the power structure. So in the beginning, it might be very robotic to do this like this, but um, for example, from here, when you change the hands and you sit in the horse, your body is naturally turning in, the, in this direction as you change, and then you come back to the punch. So in the more advanced edition here, I'm just using that turn to gain that circle for the punch coming forward. Okay. The important thing in uh, parry and punch, and a lot of people do, is they come back and then forward with the, the parry should happen right as the punch is starting to come forward rather than like that. Now that's an easier way to remember maybe like that. And again, remember to sit and shift in the horse like that. So again, the way I'm teaching it, here, change the hand, sit in the horse, and punch is a way to remember the proper sequence of the movement. And as you do it over and over, that roundedness will come over, as I explained in another video. It starts off square, but after many, many years of understanding, it becomes more rounded. In brush knee twist step, um, an important element to remember is to remain at the same height. So when I'm doing this transition back, the head level and position doesn't change. Here. And as I do from here into the transition, so the head remains the same level throughout. From here, when I do parry and punch, as I rock back, the head stays the same level. And then as I sit down in a horse, then it's okay to lower down for the punch. So I'll do um, everything, the two movements together, so you can see what it looks like, and I'll do it in the beginner I think it's time to do. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do uh, brush knee twist step and carry and punch together. Uh, but because of the space and because I want to be more close up so that you can see the movements, I'm just going to do uh, two movements because. Uh, you have to end up on the left side. So we're going to do right, left, and then carry and punch. But again, there's no set limit, so you could do two, four, as long as you end up on the left side for parry and punch. So from here, starting from short cool wings, then the transition back to the right side. And then from here, transition back to neutral. And then the left side. From here, I'm going to rock back, change the hands, sit down on a horse, carry and punch. Okay, one more time. From here, short cools wings, brush knee twist steps, right side, shift back, neutral, left side, carry and punch. Shift back, lift the toe, change the hand, sit down on a horse, and punch. Okay, I'll do it one more time uh, without uh, naming everything.
And then uh, I'm going to do kind of uh, the more advanced where I'm kind of transitioning, kind of uh, not so broken down. Okay, so there we have the two moves that we're learning today, brush these with step and curry and punch. And so now we've learned six moves in the Guan Ping Tai Chi form. It gives you a body of moves to work with. And I'll do a quick demonstration of the movements that we've learned so far. And first I'll do um, kind of a broken down beginner style in which I'm teaching. So you can remember the sequence of the movements, and then I'll do uh, kind of what I call the more flowing uh, advance, in which you don't have to like do it quite as broken up, but the movements are more, all the sequences there, but the movements have a little bit more flow. So. And then I can perform it uh, where I'm not having to break it up step by step so it has a little bit more flow to it. Okay, there we have it. Thank you very much.